truly a lion is such an amazing success story and we really need to celebrate that. That is the point of what we're doing here today. The idea of a line is that you have students who did not study computer science or data science as an undergraduate student, but they want to move into that field at the master's level. It's really just about building that foundation that will allow them to be successful alongside students who did study computer science as undergrads when they get into their master's level courses. When you look at where our graduates go, they go all over the place, right? We have people in everything from the, the big tech firms down to very entrepreneurial places. So the opportunity that's there for these students when they graduate is just simply amazing. There's just no other way to put it. I think the big achievement really has been showing that the concept of bridging people into tech is is very achievable, but also we've seen that huge, you know, gender parity thing develop. Um, that for us, I think, is a really big crowning achievement of this program. If you look at what's happened, right, over the course of the years, I don't know of any other program that has had this much success in creating an opportunity of gender parity in the, in the country and anything that I've seen. When I stepped onto the San Francisco campus and went into my very first class that I taught there, and I looked out and saw, you know, the number of women that I saw in front of me, never had seen anything like that in, in my whole career. Um, and I had been teaching for well over 30 years at that point. So I think what's ahead for a line is finding different ways of delivering the program that will speak to other individuals than what we've been able to reach so far with the program. It is an investment to go do a master's program, right? And so that socioeconomic diversity, we want to provide opportunity to people who it's really going to change the course of their families' lives to get into tech. One of the things we need to do is break down geographic barriers. This fall, we're launching a, a program where we're going to do some online instruction, but with some residency experiences where we will take the students into campuses and provide some of that cohort building and really intense support for them while they're in person. Um, and but then continue to support them with quality online instruction so that they can complete wherever they live, right? And that's going to be that's going to be awesome. We're going to look for other innovative approaches in the delivery of a line, including the flexibility of things like the pace of completion. To date, we primarily focused on students who are full-time students. That doesn't work for everybody. If you've got a job, if you've got a family, so we're talking about all kinds of opportunities to give flexibility in how somebody paces their way through the program to get to completion. The last way we're going to need to evolve is to recognize that people aren't just going to want to bridge into computer science. We actually have created now bridges into all of our programs, cybersecurity and AI and data science. Um, so we have them, but I think the question of what are those other types of aligned programs that will give opportunity to people for whom our current programming just doesn't seem to fit. We're serving students and giving them opportunity. Seeing the impact that the program has on the students' lives, hearing their stories about how much they appreciate the program and then connect with them again after they graduate and find out that they're being successful. To me, that's the ultimate thing that we're doing uh, in this program. And seeing that um, worked out and, and achieved is, is really motivational for me. So when I think about the future of Align, it's, it's a bright one. I mean, we talk about this stuff ad nauseum sometimes. What are we going to do about, you know, and we come up with these ideas and some of them are actionable and some of them are just crazy, right? But, but we're going to continue to talk about them and we're going to continue to innovate this program so that we can realize that vision that we all share of diversifying tech and bringing computer science to everyone.